guys, welcome back to another vlog. Getting ready, we're going to celebrate a friend's birthday today at Primrose Lanes. I'm using my new Westman Atelier bronzing stick. I haven't used it yet with a full face of makeup. I've only used it over my light makeup that I wear to work. So this is kind of like first impression over foundation and not just like a, my regular skin. My regular skin. What does that even mean? Not over my just skincare sunscreen. But we're going to celebrate a friend's birthday today. I wanted to go ahead and start off the vlog. I'm kind of rushing to get ready. Don't really know why I decided to start the vlog right now when I'm in a rush. But I figured probably won't have time to start it later. So we're just going to hang out, watch the magic game at Primrose Lanes, which I've been there before. We went last summer and their food is incredible. So I'm really excited. It's kind of like an upscale-ish bowling alley. It's just a new, newer addition to Orlando. They opened last year. I'm so excited because it's almost like there's obviously been a new addition throughout the year, but it's basically like our whole friend group back together again. We spent every single weekend two summers ago together. I'm just so excited to have everyone back living here in town and just together again. I'm just so excited. So that's what I'm getting ready for. I don't know how much footage I'm going to get today. I'm going to try and get as much footage as I can. Um, I'm also, I've also been like vlogging on TikTok or posting every day on TikTok for the last two weeks. I don't know how long that's going to last i'm just on like a tiktok streak basically it's tiktok is just so easy but i feel like i remember saying the same thing last year around this time where i was like i'm on a tiktok streak i'm posting every day i feel like i just go through like bursts of posting on there so we'll see it tiktok is just so easy and it's a lot easier to vlog on there during the work day so i've been posting like work day content over there so if you're interested, I'll put my name on the screen right here and I'll also link my TikTok down below. It's actually, I think, always linked, but I just started kind of like consistently posting every single day, at least one video, sometimes two. I need to still figure out what I'm wearing. I like have an idea in my head of what I want to wear, but Christian said that they look like pajama pants, which I don't blame them, they kind of do. I just don't want everyone to think that they're pajama pants. They're just so cute and they're blue and white striped. Anyways, wanted to go ahead and start off the vlog. Welcome you back to another video. Excited to vlog this weekend per usual. Um, I'm gonna finish getting ready so I don't like spend too much time talking because sometimes it's hard for me to talk and do my makeup at the same time while being in a rush. So I'll pick up the camera later. I'll show you my outfit before we leave. We honestly need to leave in like 15 minutes. So I'm going to try and quickly get through my makeup and we'll head out the door. Okay, I'm meal prepping. I'm actually starting pretty early on meal prep. It's three o'clock, so that's good. I should be done in the next 30 or so minutes. I'm making the taco chicken salad that we had a couple of vlogs ago. I shared the recipe there, but I'll share it again here. I just shredded up three rotisserie chickens. This is for me and Christian, so three will get us each four meals, so eight meals total. And then I have corn on the stove, black beans, taco seasoning, an onion, Greek yogurt, a little bit of sour cream, tomato, lime, and then avocados are in here and we add those 
day of and it's really really good you mix it all together and we put it over jasmine rice you can also eat it with chips whatever you prefer it's so good and it just holds up really well in the fridge so i'll link this recipe down below in case you're in a recipe rut for dinners or meal preps or lunches whatever it may be this one is really good up on too but anyways i go and get my hair kind of touched up it is kind of growing out it's been almost five weeks since i got it done and we take our engagement photos next weekend since we rescheduled it didn't line up with my hair schedule i originally booked these engagement photos back in october i started lining up my hair schedule and like pushing it a little bit to like line it up perfectly with the date that we had scheduled so i'm gonna go in on Tuesday and my hairdresser is just I think she's just gonna do like my hairline because it looks fine and then like tone it I don't need to get it cut I just got it cut and see what she can do I do um a root tap or like a root smudge each time so like the grow out isn't terrible but I just want it to be like as fresh as possible so I'm gonna do that I'm getting my nails done which I haven't got my nails done since I think October, September, October, I never get my nails done. But I'm like in this phase where I kind of want to start getting my nails done, which I haven't consistently gotten my nails done. I want to say it's been since before my corporate life. It's just never something that made sense to budget for. Obviously now that I'm like farther in my corporate life and I'm like older, it's like a more affordable, I guess you could say. Now, like, I, I couldn't afford it when I first, so I just, it was just too much. So, I don't know, we'll see what happens, but I think I'm gonna get, I got this color twice on my toes. I just got my toes done on Friday. It's Let's Be Friends by OPI. It's like a milky, slight pink, and I really love it. So I think I'm gonna get it on my nails. That's the plan. Um, and then we're going to West Palm Beach this weekend, staying the night. We're gonna take our engagement photos, which I'm so excited about. It's finally here. I'll share the dress, shoes, everything. I'll share it all when we're there. But I wanted to share products that I keep in my shower and maybe like go through my skincare routine. Yeah, I just wanna share some products that I've been using, keeping in my shower. 
So I guess first we'll do shampoo conditioner. I use the Crown Affair line. This is like almost out I have. I just got a restock. If you saw my last vlog, I just got a restock of this from the Sephora sale, but I'm like almost out. It lasts a decent amount of time. I wash my hair two times, sometimes three times in the shower, just depending on if I have like a hair mask in or a ton of oil. Lasts a really long time, but I do only wash my hair twice a week. The Ritual Conditioner, love. This lasts a little bit longer because I switch between these. Each wash, maybe not every single week, but I use this like every other week. And I love the Crown Affair stuff. It's one of my favorites. As far as body wash, I've been using the Salt and Stone Centol and Vetiver scent, but I'm almost done. I have another container of it. I just bought two at a time. Um, I love this scent, so I knew I would like it. So I've been loving this. Just it literally lasts forever. And then this is new. So back in January, I got the Pharmacy Cleansing Balm, and I liked it for the first little bit and i don't know if it was like the change in weather or what but i noticed blackheads all over my face and i didn't really change any other parts of my skincare i've always worn sunscreen i've always double cleansed i just don't think it was like really getting like the oil and the dirt and the sunscreen out from my pores and I used an oil before, and this I've been dying to try since college. I don't know if you guys know who this is, but if you do, I'm surprised. Her name is KGMTL. Her name is Catherine, and I followed her in college. She actually is like the person who got me interested in like health, wellness, like eating healthy, fueling your body, apple cider vinegar, like she got me so into it i would she used to post like stories like all day long i would sit there and just watch them as i like got ready in the morning she is so knowledgeable i don't follow her or keep up with her anymore but she used this and i don't feel like a lot of people know about this you can't get it at sephora it's the living libations sea buckthorn best skin ever like cleansing moisturizer you can use this as an oil or as like a cleanser and i love this stuff there's so many good reviews i've only been using it for a couple days and the blackheads that i've had like i had some blackheads right here and i've had like weird like bumps right through here literally clearing them up it's crazy so i just feel like an oil since using a balm originally and then switching to an oil and then switching to a balm again i just feel like an oil is best for my skin and removing that stuff and then following up with a cleanser this is the la roche posay one and this is a hydrating one since it's starting to get into summer i switch because my skin is combination so i kind of switch depending on the season it is hot mostly year round here but i think it's time to kind of switch more to the oily one and this one's super affordable you can get it from the drugstore those are my products I can link this. I'm so excited to have this and use it, but I was like kind of just browsing, looking into like cleansers and things. And I just remember this, like I've always kept a mental note of it in my head. And I said, you know what, since I completely ran out of that giant tub of the cleanser, I'm going to give it a try and see. And it is, it is pretty good. So, but these are... <laughs> The products that i keep in my shower that i'm using currently using and loving i did get a comment of someone wanting to hear about like my recent favorites or something i think it'd be fun to do monthly favorites videos just a whole like what i'm absolutely loving or obsessed with that month and i think that would be so fun so maybe at the end it is the end of april basically it's the 21st maybe i'll put together like a video of current favorites, things that I'm loving. So we'll see, but I'm gonna shower and do my red light therapy, drink my tea, it's eight. I wanna be in bed early since yesterday was just kind of like busy with people and my social battery is empty. And we have a full work week ahead. So I'm gonna shower. Mm -hmm. 